In the forest of Lampoldshausen near Stuttgart lies the German Aerospace Agency's Institute of Space Propulsion. Over the last 40 years, nearly all the liquid propulsion engines of every version of the Ariane launch vehicle have been tested here. And ESA's new Ariane 6 is no exception. With its maiden flight in sight, many of its components are being checked here. To accommodate this new vehicle, several of the test facilities have been modified. So for the moment we have uh, the P4, P41, which is uh, a high altitude test facility where we have made already the development and qualification testing of the Vin Vinci engine. And we have the P5, uh, which is testing currently the main stage engine, the Vulcan 2.1 for the Ariane 6. And we are now in the process of receiving, of accepting the new test facility for the upper stage, which is called the P52. This P5.2 facility is new and has been specially built to test Ariane 6's upper stage. It looks like a launch pad, complete with different floors in a tower, similar to the ones at Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. Operations inside this facility are monitored from a central control room. After final preparations, a countdown marks the start of the test, just like an actual rocket launch. The Ariane 6 upper stage incorporates the Vinci reignitable rocket engine. This reignition is a key feature, adding versatility to Ariane 6 missions. While this engine has already been hot fire tested, it's essential to also understand the overall behavior of the whole upper stage before Ariane 6 is made in flight. In the development of a launch system, of a launch system you want to test the stages in the, most clo in the closest condition to the flight one. So we want to have a real stage test and not uh, just a giant test, which is performed in a, another test bench close by here. At the Ariane 6 upper stage test stand, all aspects of the flight are simulated, such as the preparation of the stage and also the flight itself. It's important to know how the upper stage behaves when the Vinci engine is running. The upcoming launch of Ariane 6 generates a lot of activity here in Lampoldshausen, but also in factories and research centers all over Europe, and of course in Kourou, where a massive launch pad is being built. For the development of Ariane 6, the approach is new. Design and manufacturing are done almost in parallel, an important task for ESA and European industry. The difficulty of Ariane 6, the challenge of Ariane 6 is also given by the schedule uh, and we know that uh, we had uh, a little bit more than five years to build the old launch system and to qualify the old launch system and this is uh, the, a, a real uh, interesting uh, kind of challenge that we have because we have to coordinate, synchronize many developments at the same time. Despite this tight schedule, the many parallel builds and developments, ESA and industry accepted the challenge to develop this launch system in only five years. Today, Ariane 6 is scheduled for its maiden launch in 2020. From Kourou to Lampoldshausen, the development of Ariane 6 continues at full speed in order to offer a competitive launch vehicle for the commercial market, while at the same time securing Europe's independent access to space.